And let's get into game number two. It is going to be a substitution. Gumiyushi out. Teddy is in. Oh my god. Okay, I'm actually really excited about this because this is getting towards my ideal T1 roster. And if you do have winning lanes, then Ude can do a lot more. And I think a TF will be a good one. Uh, depends wow. on the matchup that you get because there are some matchups that into TF can get the prior early, but I don't mind him drawing pressure. Like, <laughs> throw all the yeah. pressure his way. That's completely fine. And this is really interesting. Yeah, this is a very interesting one. This is making sure that Peanut is going to be the carry, right? Doc Dom can build a lot of magic damage as well. So if you're looking at damage variants and being like oh, yeah. too much AD, it's not actually the case, really. Yeah, he's pretty good at the at the twist of fate, of course, is an absolute legacy pick. Uh, I'm expecting this to be another mid set um, or a tank set. Because uh, we see the training coming through. And here you see Alum covering just in case that Pika Peanut. Oh yeah, here we go. This is the gank that we wanted. Flash comes out immediately. As they are trying to turn it here onto Peanut a little bit, but look too much like a counter pick. It's not like uh, you know, pick and cast it in, into the Twist of Fate or anything like that. As finally a face uh breaker comes in. Yeah, uh this is also of course the power of Voodoo as a Teddy's probably gonna flash. Yeah, is he gonna make it? No, he's not. That's gonna be first blood going over to Peanut. Right place, right time, and I'm not sure what Teddy was doing. Unfortunate time to go for a ward, I think. As the hook comes down onto Peanut, that's going to be Blast Cone utilized, and Elam's just like, nah, not going to be here. <laughs> it's going to Hobbs his way out. And we'll see whether they can actually lock down this blue buff. A lot of extra power here, and Nongshim is going to continue pushing the envelope. Yeah, Filter's ready. Yeah, they is rotating over as well, though. That was a missed cannon, and so, like, um, I was <laughs> dying a little bit inside, and so I wasn't actually focusing. Is we're going to have a look at Teddy dying again. He's going to be pushing towards safety for the Jace. There's a stun that it does come in, but Rich still taking a lot of damage there. To the skies comes in. Elam in a great position as Faker looking for a Destiny Bay. Wants to get the interrupt and he does so. Faker not going to make it up there. And now T1, they're looking to back away. Bay is going to take the inside track though. It will be a three versus two as they get into the alcove. It's not where you want to be. Azaeus goes down. Peanut grabs another kill. Face breaker onto Elam and he has to run for the hills. He does so, gets to safety. The flash out from Peanut. Good hook is going to land onto Bay, but he's pretty tanky right now. And T1 have to walk away with a dead Jace. Snowballing this time, but not as in control. Uh, so we see a nice Ooh. hook there. Yeah, Box actually comes down as well. Don't know whether Carrion necessarily needed to invest that one. As Elam, he's going to come round. See whether Tibber's mode is going to be in full effect. Rotates down and Peanut's going to continue his assault on the jungle. There's the showstopper that was Ace. Immediately having to flash away, but I don't think it's going to be enough. And Faker, he thought about it, but then he was like, nope, that guy's dead. The, the thing is, though, even though these skirmishes are going kind of rough, I say, as T1 goes in deep here. Yeah, and Bay's actually going to say thank you for it. As there's, there's the crash down from Kellen. A lot of flashes as Carrier and Teddy try to get out of there. But Rich turns up into the back line. Teddy immediately is eliminated. Elam now running for the hills as uh, the Void Seeker comes in. And that's going to be it. Doc Dom picks it up with the Killer Instinct. He may actually die from this one. Immediate cleanse. That was pretty Captain Jack. Liked it. Liked it a lot. As he supercharges to try and get himself out of the way, Faker's Ignite, not going to be enough. As now Rich finds himself underneath the turret, Faker goes golden, Hook is going to go wide, and the crash down will spell the death of the Twisted Fate, and Nongshim have woken up. The tempo and skirmishing gameplay from Nongshim is so... What is this set actually going to be able to provide? But Bay has been playing it very, very nicely and turning a lot of what T1's been trying to do against them as once again, oh, no. Bay's going to find Faker. The strike break is going to slow him down and then Bay grabs the kill with the showstopper. Powerful Nidalee. And uh, I'm thinking that maybe he should just play it every single game as Bay gets the face breaker onto Ellen. There are a lot of members of T1 in this area, but it looks like... Ooh, oh, look at Bay. He's going to come in from the flank. They don't have vision of him. Yeah, this is really dangerous. Void Seeker does come down. Teddy Featherstorm very, very early as Bay comes on in. There's the flash. Looking for Teddy right now. Carrier is going to be taken down. Teddy finds himself in relative safety, and Bay has to use the showstopper. Uh, not on the Zaya, which is absolutely the target that he was looking for. Blast Cone gets Faker to safety. Zaius is uh, a little bit behind enemy Wait. lines, but he should be okay for the moment. As, uh, oh, no. <gasps> I think they spotted him. There's the Void Seeker as well as Dr. Um, Gonna cancel the back, and Zayas is gonna have to go for a run, I think. As uh, uh, Peanut, he's coming over, everyone collapsing Drake's onto Zayas, who's just like, nah, I'm, I'm getting this. We'll see whether he can actually, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Drake is spawning, like, they, they need to not go on him. It's 25 seconds, you can't give him this, this save point. Well, I mean, he does buy a lot of time, like you say. 
fighting against himself to say his Rich is found. Yep, Gold Card is going to come in, but Baker doesn't have a lot of damage right now, and Rich is pretty tanky. There's the Dominus. Gold Card comes in. Carrier and Teddy are going to be in position. Peanut looking to try and turn up. There's the flash forward. Stun comes down onto Teddy. Immediately he has to Featherstorm. Gets into melee range with Rich, but will survive for the moment. Not enough to grab the kill. Faker goes in, gets baited by Rich. He does go down. Not even sure what that was, as at least Faker is rewarded with the first kill for T1. <laughs> Again. Again, look at the map, look at bait. Oh no. Back in live once again. The stun is fantastic though. That's going to deny the flank as T1 still oh. running away. Teddy in the game. Yeah, he's Teddy, yep. Funneling a lot. Oh, Teddy. Teddy. Oh no. What? He just kills him. Doc Dom's just dead and he makes it to safety. This is exactly what we're talking about. The Teddy effect is always going to be there. Oh no, Doc Dom just didn't know. He just didn't know. Literally, as I say, Teddy can't play the video game. Teddy plays the video game. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> right, he does. That's why things like this Jace exist. The, the wild cards from Faker oh. as well as... Let's have a look at this one more time. The Supercharger comes in and Doc Dom gets hit by... Yeah, three autos and a feather, I think. Yeah. Right now. Oh, definitely. And that's very scary. But T1 does know what's happening. Back on the engage. Yep, the crash down comes forward. This is a great engage out from Nongshim as Doc Dom grabs the kill onto Faker, but does have to make his way out of the fight. Teddy at full health as he dashes his way to the side. Elam now getting himself into position. The Haymaker from Bay, not enough to deter Teddy right now. Who just Teddy. walks past him. That's going to be enough autos. Elam actually grabs the kill. And now T1 can push forward. Rich will get stunned up and look at the damage from this Zaya. Rich gets on top of him, but he still had Featherstorm. So Teddy easily able to lock down that kill. And Nongshim, they have to kill this Zaya instantly. Otherwise, these fights get so much harder. Destiny almost available once again. As he does find a decent little stun there on the kill. And he what? takes off his health bar. Peanut just executes Zaius. He does have teleport, problem. but he has teleport in 36 seconds. The Baron is going down fast. There's the Destiny to make sure that they have Vision Bay. Not going to be able to find Look the plant for free as Elam wants to try and take this one. But he is behind two levels like you were talking about. Stun comes in. There's the Magnet Storm crash down as Kellen gets a really good engage. Teddy finds himself again in a great position as Doc Dom gets behind him, but he's not able to execute. Carrier does fall down. Peanut grabs another kill, but still five members of Nongshim are closing in on T1. Faker and Elam are going to have to try and protect Teddy. Can the Fountain Laser actually make it work? Good stun. He's going to land and he will fall down. Rich grabs the kill. That is Elam immediately falling afterwards. Zaius wants to try and be a hero, but he's not going to be able to. It's a double kill for Doc Dom. This will be the Baron and Nongshim take a huge advantage. He's going to go for that Baron and then it becomes so much harder to play out the subsequent fight as um, this does, this feels because this is okay, right? This is fine. That's... I don't know wow. about that. Uh, I, I don't know this, how I uh, feel Lich, about that. Spain, Italy does fair bit of damage. And here we see the mastery from T1 in how they set up this team fight with Teddy being able to really last hit is not enough to overtake the extra man that they have. Dr. I'm going in aggressively there creates so much space for the rest of his team because with Kai's out there, Teddy can't play, right? If Teddy gets off a couple of extra orders there, it might look differently. Then Nongshim, just wait for your cooldowns, take it slow, go in with the Attract and Repel as well as the Renekton stun, and you can just clean it up freely. Now, this teleport was channeled when this was looking much better. Ooh. Teddy! What the heck? He just comes what out is and this game? Now they're looking for another one. Rich gonna get stunned up as Elim's just gonna boop him. They do manage to get him onto the box, but he's very tanky. And Carrier takes a lot of damage, but T1 have still won this fight, even if Rich gets out of here as Kellen dives on forward. The Magnet Storm is activated, but unfortunately, he's just gonna go down. And T1, they put the pressure right back on again as now they're pinging the base of Nongshim. Which yeah, uh, said, uh, see you later, alligator, because it's kind of weird, because, you know, he's the alligator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It was, we'll see whether we get the inner wild crocodile as uh, Peter. Gonna get taken, sorry, yeah. Taking that about half health as Teddy feather storms. Can he actually get into position? Oh, the face break is so good! Out of Bay, Fake is gonna go down and Bay gets right on top of the rest of the members of T1. And I have a feeling this is just it. That's the ace and that's gonna be the game. Nongshim will bring us to Faker's 600. Oh, 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 oh,
고비 좋은 베이 그렇습니다 에이스 농챔 이게 농심의 매운맛 단타다 농심의 레드 포스 아닙니까 이게 와 저걸 저렇게 오고 예. 농지 빨간이 와 올가며 제대로 낚아챘죠 예. 베이 주인 시간에 테디 테디 그 얘기하고 있었는데 그냥 베이 입맛 시작해서 이일시의 베이가 경기를 끝내버리면서 와 20분에 골드 앞두고 있으면 83포인트 승리의 승리의 농지 다시 치즈와 경기가 또 이렇게 끝나네요 역시 농 그렇죠. And uh, look, for those of you that are like, oh, they subbed out Gumiyushi and they put in Teddy, that was the problem. Um, we, we can focus on uh, on something else, I think, because I think it was because they pretty consistently yeah. win that first game as, oh my God, Peanut's damage. That is repugnant. He just, he dominated that game from start to finish. He was 100% kill contribution, I believe, at like 30 minutes into the game.